Okay. Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. Welcome to the Micro Hydro Series number two. This is the second install I've done here on the channel. I'm with my neighbor, Nathan, from the Homestead... Homestead on the Mountain. Homestead on the Mountain. Yeah, man. <laughs> His channel is about a month old yeah. from right now, and he's gonna be posting videos of this series from a different perspective than what you're getting right here. So, in this first video, what we're doing is finding the place we want our intake to be so that we can run our uh, 600 feet of inch and a quarter pipe. And we were thinking it's actually going to be easier to run the pipe first to see where the exit point and the intake will be. So let's head up the mountain and unravel this pipe and we will see where it lands up here on the mountain. Okay, we've got the 600 foot of inch and a quarter pipe here in the sun. We're going to go ahead and get this stretched out, let it sit for probably 30 minutes or so. Hopefully that'll get all of the coil out. Whenever I was working with the two inch pipe, I let it sit for a week and it still had some coil left in it. So we'll see if this inch and a quarter is easier. It's going to incorporate our, our needs better. All right, that motor that I got. We just finished getting the 600 foot totally unraveled. It actually went a lot faster than the two inch pipe. So we've got everything all the way down to the end of the road down here. And we're gonna give it about 30 minutes or so in the sun. And that should get all of the kinks out and allow us to work with this down in the creek a lot easier. The pipe has been sitting out in the sun now for a while. We're going to take it around this corner over here and come down the hill we're actually going to use the pipe as the measurement for the turbine so that we know exactly where the intake needs to be 600 feet up the creek now the water out of this turbine is going to spill into the intake of my turbine so i want to make sure we go up high enough with this 600 feet that it's not going to be interfering with uh, the second turbine okay hopefully this is not too difficult sneaking this pipe down through the woods 300 feet is about as heavy as pulling 100 feet of the two inch pipe that I was pulling for my turbine. <laughs> All right, we've gone off road. We're now heading down to the creek through the woods. Luckily from here, it's downhill. Once we hit the creek, it'll be back uphill. We've made it back down here to my intake for my turbine which is the box right down here. If you want to see that series, you can find it on my channel. It's a start to finish, kind of like this one right here. So we're gonna try and leave the turbine for this upper system somewhere above mine. Anywhere in this area here should do fine. So we're gonna take this pipe and start walking the creek to get the first 300 foot section installed. And then we'll walk another 300 foot with the second section and we'll know where our intake needs to be. As we follow the creek uphill, we need to make sure we find the lowest point so that there are no ridges in our drive pipe here. Whenever you have a ridge, it's going to possibly hold air and reduce the flow. So we would have less watts on the output. So for instance, this tree here, we need to make sure we go under and skirt up here to find the lowest point. Found a snag here under this rock. Gonna move it over a bit. According to Google Earth, we have somewhere around 200 foot of head pressure, which should come out to be about 90 PSI on this system. 
We just pulled the first 300 feet of this pipe up here next to this really awesome waterfall. So we're gonna go and get the second section here and meet up with this one so that we can continue on up the creek here. As you can see, flow rate is still really great up this high. We have had to make sure we duck under these trees and other rocks that have fallen so that we don't have any high spots. So let's walk down here just a little bit and show you the terrain we're working with. You're right there. Okay, we finally have our 600 feet of pipe up here on the mountain. It uh, has taken us quite a while. Uh, it's steep. I've estimated somewhere around 200 feet of drop down over this 600 feet. But it comes out right here, and we're gonna be using this little section right here as the intake. So we're going to be clearing these rocks forward some to make a pool that we will be putting our screened intake in. Now that we know where the intake is going to be, we're down here at the junction of the two 300 foot sections. And I'm going to be installing a single barb fitting to connect these two. It just looks like this, and it's got a couple of these stainless steel hose clamps. I experimented with several different types of connectors in my other turbine installation, and none of them worked at all. So this seems to be the easiest way. So let's go ahead and get these two pieces of pipe connected. So I'm gonna be using this propane torch to heat up the end. Makes it way easier to put these fittings in. Uh, so I'm actually gonna come out about that far. So it gets pretty hot. I'll get my hand out of the way. That's enough. And then I'm going to use this stainless steel hose clamp. Nice. And now we have to match up the other piece, which may be a bit more the torque to it. Yeah. Luckily it's just one connector. Right. Always remember to put this on. Okay, nice. Ooh, you okay? Oh yeah. Huh. It's only a finger. Ten of them. Okay, that should do it. And there we have it. Those two sections have been joined using that barbed fitting. It's taken us close to three hours to get this unwrapped, heated up in the sun, get the kinks out, get the coil out, and then climb this mountain a couple of times. It's been uh, four times. Four times. It's been fun. Oh, yeah. But uh, we're gonna call this good for number one of this series. Definitely. And we will come back next time and work on the intake. It's gonna be kind of different than most microhydro intakes. Uh, because it also is a water line to the house. So it should be interesting. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. Click that uh, notification bell and also leave a comment. I would appreciate it. And if you want to see a different outlook on this micro hydro install, check out Homestead on the Mountain. It's a uh, link in the description below. He is going to have several more videos on uh, this series. So yep. thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.